Oh my gosh, friend. <gasps> Wait, I'm gonna close this door so that my neighbors don't hear me. But hello, can you see that video quality? The Lord hath provided. That's all I can say. The Lord provided. So really cool story. The Lord provided. I used to film on an iPhone 6, 7. And the Lord provided an iPhone 13. I had no money to buy such phone. But the Lord provided. My dad was like, hey, do you want to switch phones? And I was like, um, absolutely. So yeah, hence the upgraded quality. But hello, friend. Welcome back to our, our monthly um, what I read this past month. So this is what I read in, November, in March. Sorry. And these are the only two books I read. So I actually was kind of in a bit of a major reading slump this past month. I started by reading another book, which I will not mention because I do not think anyone should read that book. Um, and it just, I was in such a big slump. And then towards the end of the month, my friend had these two books. She actually has the third one as well. She says so the book two and book three in like a Karen Kingsbury series um and i i was like okay i'm i'm not gonna buy the first book but i'll skip it like i don't mind because i just need like something quick to like that i can read again um and i started reading it and i loved the series okay actually let me not so this first book was definitely a four star book and by the way when you're reading a karen kingsbury book like you go into it knowing you know what you're gonna get so this one was a four star book this one was like a 2.5 so not fantastic um, but it really got me out of my reading slump, and so I'm so grateful. It's just like a good, quick book. Um, also, did I mention I'm also gonna go through my TBR since these are the only two books I read? Um, and so yeah, I recommend giving the series. It's the Redemption series. Like, give it a shot. Um, personally, my favorite series by Karen Kingsbury is the Angels Walking series. But it's been cool to learn a bit more about the Baxters. And so yeah, that's Karen Kingsbury. Those are my literal only two reads for March. And then going into my April TBR, which is so cool. So I am halfway through this book. And this is book four in the series because I skipped book one. Um, and so, yeah, so far it's about like a 2.5-ish. It's still dragging a little bit, maybe a three star. Um, but like they're still really interesting. And what I love about Karen Kingsbury is that she's not afraid. Like her characters are going through hard stuff um she's not afraid oh that Claire is funny okay she's not afraid for her characters to go through hard stuff and so there is uh, things happening out of wedlock there is sickness there is this 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 it's set against the backdrop of 9-11 so there's a lot going on um and so this is my first book in my April TBR then um uh, okay I'll start I'll do this book at Yala Lake um my, my oh was that me um one of my friends my best friend actually let me this book and i don't know much about it besides that it's kind of like a mystery book and it's very easy like it's it's i think it's only like 360 page only <laughs> but the pages are like super small and it's more like young adult or like teen tween book maybe even so i'm very excited to read this sorry i've had a day and my words are kind of gone then uh, next book is these shallow graves i actually started it but was in a major book slump so barely finished it or barely like got into it so excited to read this one this one is like new york grave digger what happened bit of mystery so excited to read this one and then probably my most anticipated read for april invisible life of eddie larue i actually um i wasn't gonna read this and then taylor tippett was like this is the best book she's ever read and like the emotions and i was like maybe i should give it a go so that's my other book um and then this one i'm very excited for this one is my non-fiction um single dating engaged married currently in single phase intend to be in single phase for a while just chasing after god and so really excited for this one i actually need to get back into reading the non-fiction books because i major book slump dropped off um yeah and then another book that i've been reading i'm about not even halfway but i will get there so these two um i really need to focus what i need to keep doing and there's nothing wrong with the books but it's just i struggle with non-fiction so i found reading a couple of pages before my devotion is the best way to do it so i just need to get back into doing that and then these are a stretch these are like hopefuls for my tbr so this one babel i have started this book but it is just look at these pages look at how much okay let me do look at how much writing is in this book 
it is oh I, kind of boring the beginning maybe i just need to get into it and so yeah i need to i hopefully will finish this book and then the starless sea i haven't yet started it is a beautiful cover um and i'm excited to get into this book and those are that's my reading where i am at at the moment so i'm literally like got back from a long day at work so my brain's just like a little glitchy <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's kind of my TBR for April and my March, what I read in March. Um, and so yeah, comment below which one book you are looking forward to reading the most. For me, it would be Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. And then also because I've just like, and then this one for nonfiction. And so these are my two like um, books that I'm looking forward to reading the most. And so yeah, comment down below. Let me know what is the book you are currently reading or... Um, the book you're looking forward to reading the most and then i will see you in my next video next week tuesday baby um but yeah thank you so much for watching friend appreciate you sorry my glasses had a glare but thank you lord for the upgraded camera quality i never thought this day would come i was actually considering getting a camera and then i literally prayed like god would you give me a camera or better and he provided the or better so yeah okay bye friend